I am the most uh, tuned in, uh, tapped in, turned on LinkedIn when I'm doing my work as a healer. And it feels, I feel like I've been getting a nudge from spirit that I'm supposed to take the next step in my destiny this lifetime, which is to work with groups doing my technique uh, for larger and larger groups. And I'm, I'm excited and I... What any of us have to offer, in other words, the most important thing to understand relative to the subject of healing is that every single person is an extension of source energy and every single person has this wonderful energy of well-being focused toward them every single person so technically nobody should need a healer to goose it up because everyone has direct access from source mm -hmm. but so many people are resistant to it that it's nice to have someone who can soothe them into the allowing of that you see and that's where the teaching comes in because you can't you could see someone who is in need of some some beneficial energy and the sensation that so many people have is well I'll just tap into the source and then I'll just shine it really strong on them and they won't be able to resist it well they can if they've been practicing it they can and so it's the teaching part it's the soothing part it's the aligning part also the other thing that we want to say to you about that is that it's what we were talking about with our friend in the step four phase in other words you've known what you don't want and you've known what you do want and you've and and you've allowed yourself to be the receiver of it and now you're in that place where you have knowing about all of that and so now isn't it logical that the contrast that surrounds you would parlay your desires into more exponential results in other words if you are someone who understands the energy and is expressing it you're one person moving around but if you are teaching others what it's about then more good comes from all of that so yeah, we are in agreement with that the next step will reveal itself to you as you stand in this place now of acknowledging your readiness that's all that's required in other words it it requires you saying just as it required you saying I am willing I give up my I give up everything that was holding me from this thing that I now know that I want I'm ready Esther found those words in her mind and she does not know where they came from she doesn't know if she found them or if they were our words that she translated like the words I'm next it's hard to know where those words come from isn't it but Esther remembers sitting in meditation and feeling the energy energy that she was afraid of because she didn't know what it meant she had never felt anything like it before she didn't know where it would lead her she didn't think she wanted to go where she thought it might lead her and then one day she found herself saying and meaning because words don't matter only what you mean matters I'm willing and that was the sort of declaration of releasing of the last resistance I, I am willing and yeah. I, I agree with you so don't try to mm. fill in the grid don't try to figure out no. what to do just follow the impulse in other words you're right where you want to be just follow the impulse because we, we like the first thing you said to us that you are tuned in tapped in turned on when you are doing that and we wanted to jump in and say and the reason for that is first you can't do your work unless you are and next you've done it enough that you know how to do it and next those who you are working with are calling it through you in other words you've got all that stuff going on so now you get to define Esther said Abraham you, do you expect me to tell this to the world and we said no we're just telling you took all the pressure off you oh good oh good no we're just telling you but it wasn't very long before the benefit that she was receiving from what she was knowing made her want to help others know it when they were expressing uh, that they would like something to be different in their life experience it was and so her willingness evolved to clear understanding of what she wanted to do you see so on a morning like this she sits in preparation to play with you meditates does some breathing slept well the night before and 
wrote and wrote and wrote this morning and essentially everything that she wrote essentially said the same thing there's nothing in all the world I would rather do than what is about to happen in this room in other words nothing is better than co-creating with source nothing is better than co-creating with source I feel like I'm better used uh, working with people energetically than teaching I feel like there are others whose gift of teaching is uh, uh, maybe their first gift we, for well, me it, well it's you're more saying the something you're saying something really important here and it's what we've been talking about all day here today isn't it that it's creating the vibrational nucleus and so what you're saying is when I get tuned to this and I know what I know and I hold someone as my object of attention in my clarity I can for a time dominate the vibration of their being hmm. and they can get results right. but if you don't right. use some words to explain to them what happened yeah. it won't be lasting I, I do I, yeah. I do that also yeah. but I think um, I have a, a master's degree in counseling also so yes that's part of my work my vision that, that I feel like I'm being shown is not to be doing a lot of, of words and teaching for large groups but to come in as more of an instrument to to shift the vibration uh, to, to well why are we um, having this conversation in other words so you've you've got this sense you've got this vision you've got this knowing you know what to do why are we talking about I'm it? just why don't you just go do it I'm wondering what <laughs> I'm wondering what the the next step is and uh, well don't get ahead of yourself I, in other words if you yeah. in, in, in all that you've come to know it will evolve just like that and what you're demonstrating is the thing that trips everybody up I've got this sensing what do I do now and can you feel how you just pivoted from well-being into discord oh it's not anxious I'm I'm excited and I'm curious like a like a almost like a child and I'm open it's a perfect place and, to be yeah satisfied with what is and eager for more that's the perfect de definition of step four satisfied with what is in alignment with what is and eager for more really good yeah really good thank you yes, indeed. So in all the time we've been having these conversations, today is the first time where these segments have felt timeless to me. I mean, I know they've lasted 66 minutes on the clock or whatever they last, but it could have been two hours per segment. It's just felt expansive and wonderful. Can you please help me put, put that into some yeah. words? Oh, well, we're going to put it into some really good words. It is only resistance that makes you measure. Excellent, excellent. And the other thing is that we've, we've heard vibrational environment a few times today, and that really feels, it's my sense that that's sort of where this conversation and this conversation is sort of going. Can you please flesh out the whole notion of the vibrational environment? We've been calling it your grid, right. meaning your point of attraction, sort of like a framework that will fill in. Esther has been asking us as she feels what we're what we're feeling as we're projecting it to her Abraham what word when I say it feels most like you mean it vibrational climate vibrational nucleus vibrational environment or atmosphere and we say all of those words are good words for what we mean you are creating a vibrational emotional vibrational emotional climate that everything in the universe will respond to so if you just reach for something that feels good then other good feeling thoughts flow to you well where did they come from maybe from Abraham maybe from other angels it doesn't matter where they come from as this non-physical energy is flowing through you maybe from mass consciousness it doesn't matter don't try so hard to figure out where it's coming from just notice that it is coming in other words you create the environment in which it will be attracted and an environment that will sustain it that's the best way of describing it so the more you practice it the more you own it the more you are it the more flows to it and then and then soon really really soon it is our powerful intention desire and promise to you that really really soon we're going to move from this creating the vibrational climate because you will have figured it out because it's easy it's easy to do 
it doesn't take anyone more than 30 days to teach that to themselves and so anybody that wants to can do that it's easiest to do first thing in the morning see how long we talk about getting on your high flying disc well that's what it is creating an environment where you feel good an environment that fosters more good feeling thoughts to come to it and then very soon it is our intention our desire our expectation even our promise to you that then we will have discussions because you will already be in that place of powerful att powerful attraction of then defining with more specifics the details of the way you want the universe to surprise and delight you in other words don't you just love it when you get on a roll and you can just feel that everything's working out for you the traffic lights open just right the people in traffic are just not just right you rendezvous with people that you're interfacing with in the marketplace or even as you're checking into a hotel you're not just rendezvousing with other people in pleasing ways you're rendezvousing with your own past in pleasing ways you're rendezvousing with your own present in pleasing ways you're excited about your future in pleasing ways you begin to understand that someone a few a few gatherings ago said I've taken to just writing it as if it's already happened he said I wrote about the woman that would come to me and she showed up and it only took a little time and I wrote about my perfect job and my perfect job showed up in other words you are on the precipice of being able to understand the power that you hold with your thoughts but we are not encouraging you to direct your thoughts too specifically until you're sure that you've got your vibrational atmosphere in the place that you want it to be so practice it a little while and then let's romp into your future experiences we think that all of you should have enormous prosperity in your life this year your economy is poised for it your vibration is poised for it there is not a reason in the world for you to experience anything less than that other than thoughts that you have been thinking that no longer apply to this vibrational atmosphere so as you create this vibrational atmosphere deliberately the thoughts that you chronically have been thinking that don't mesh with that are gonna bounce out because you can't have it both ways you can't create this atmosphere and hold those old resistant thoughts that aren't serving you it's got to be one or the other and we think that today you've made a different choice you see so you're gonna find yourself unwilling to criticize like you once maybe did or unwilling to feel sorry for yourself like you once maybe did or unwilling to nitpick over other people unnecessarily like maybe you once did in other words the big the understanding of this vibrational nucleus is going to solve everything in your vibrational patterning which means all that you've been asking for that is in your vibrational reality is going to begin to move from a vibrational state of being to a manifestational state of being where you and others who are around you will be able to see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it and that's what we mean when we say you create your own reality this is not a gathering where where we say we're going to take you into the non-physical and talk about things that have nothing to do with your life here on planet earth everything that you are about is about your life here on planet earth you're wanting to demonstrate your vibrational clarity and your and your your vibrational currency you have a vibrational currency that it's time for you to begin cashing in it's time for you to allow yourself to be treated in alignment with the trajectory that you set forth when you made the decision